Welcome to week four, everyone. In Advanced Word this week, we're going to learn to integrate data from other programs, such as Microsoft PowerPoint and Microsoft Excel. Let's take a look at this week's objectives. We're going to learn to embed a PowerPoint presentation, embed an Excel worksheet object, modify an embedded worksheet object, link an online video, create and edit hyperlinks, apply a background fill effect, insert horizontal lines, and save a Word document as a web page. Let's get started. I'm in Microsoft Word, and I have four documents open. I'm going to be using the Humane Society documents to demonstrate integrating data and linking documents together today. So my first document is the main document. Then we have a document for dog adoption, one for cat adoption, and then just some Humane Society news. I'm going to start with this document. There is no need to have all four documents open at once, just saving a little time here. On the history of the Humane Society, I have a little PowerPoint presentation that I want to insert into this Word document. So this is how you do this. Place your insertion point. You're going to go up to the Insert tab. You're going to go all the way over to the Text group. In the Text group, you're going to find Object. Drop down, you're going to click on Object. And we're not creating a new PowerPoint presentation, so we're going to hit Create from File. We're going to Browse. I know mine lives on the desktop. It's in my Humane Society project and Humane Society PowerPoint. I want to link this, so I'm choosing Link to File, and I'm hitting OK. This is the PowerPoint presentation. Again, it's right inside the Word document, which is actually pretty cool. If I wanted somebody to view this, they'd simply double-click on it. We're now in PowerPoint, and we would just start clicking. Again, very simplistic, just to show you how this works. When we're done, we're back into the Word document. The next thing I'm going to share with you is how to embed an Excel worksheet. And so again, for time, I already have Excel open. So let me go to Excel. I have just, a, again, very simplistic Excel spreadsheet. It has second quarter adoptions, cats, dogs, etc. So if I want to bring this in to Microsoft Word, I open up Excel, I open the file, and I select the part that I want to embed into my Word document. I go up to the clipboard, I hit Copy, or I can hit Control C, or I could right click and I could choose Copy. So I've copied the portion I want. I go back to my Word document, place my insertion point. Now if I was just to simply paste this, it would work. You would see it, but you would not have the functionality of Microsoft Excel. So the cool thing is, when we embed it as a Microsoft Excel worksheet object, it's going to have the functionality of Microsoft Excel. So I'm back in the Word document. I go to my Home tab. I'm in my Clipboard group. I drop down on Paste. I'm going to choose Paste Special. Paste. And how do I want to paste it? This is important. Microsoft Excel Worksheet Object, and I hit OK. So it looks just like a Word table. However, because we embedded it, it has the functionality of Excel. So when I double-click on this, I'm actually in Microsoft Excel within my Word document. And if you know how to use Excel, and if you don't, you'll probably have a course later. Um, it's pretty cool. So I'm under April. It says cats 100. That's a mistake. There's only 35. I'm going to type 35. When I hit enter, I want you to watch the total. Automatically going to update because it has the functionality of Excel. So anything that we could do in Microsoft Excel, we could come in here within Word and do the same thing. When I'm done with that, double click and I'm just, again, back inside Microsoft Word. So we just learned how to embed an Excel spreadsheet. And also, again, by double-clicking, we can go ahead and modify it if we needed to. So 
So next I'd like to share with you how to embed an online video. So I'm going to go out to a browser and I'm going to go to YouTube. Again, already there for time. Once I'm at YouTube, I would type what I want, Humane Society, I'd hit search, I've already done that, and I'd scroll to find the video I want. A Day in the Life of Animal Humane Society. I want this, I click on it. I'm not even going to wait for this to load, but up in the address bar, you can see the URL. So I'm going to click and I'm going to drag. I'm going to copy that. So I have it selected. I'm going to hold down the control, hit the letter C, and I can even close out of this, go back to my Word document. So once I have copied the URL, I'm going to go to the Insert tab in Microsoft Word. We have a media group and it says Online Video. I'm going to paste, so the keyboard shortcut to paste is Control plus the letter V, as in Victory, Control V, and I'm inserting the video. Takes a minute. And there's the video inserted. So it's a link. If I click on here, it would start playing the video. Next, let's take a look at inserting hyperlinks into the document. So I have some participating businesses here, Lowe's Building Supplies. And so I could place my insertion point after Lowe's Building Supplies and I could go up to Insert. We have a Links group. I could go to Link. I could Insert Link. And there's different types of hyperlinks. So an existing file or web page, that's what we're going to use today. So it's already on there. Because I want to go to a web page and make sure my insertion points down the address bar and I can type it in. Or if I had it somewhere else, I could copy it and paste it in. So I happen to know that it's www.lows.com and notice the text to display because I had nothing selected when I hit OK that's the text that's going to display it works not my favorite look and so my preference is either typing some text that maybe says click here to go to Lowe's but even a cleaner better look, in my opinion, would be to select the existing text and make this its own hyperlink. So I select Lowe's Building Supplies, go back again to the Insert tab, Links group, drop down on Links, Insert Links. This time, because I have text selected, that's what's going to appear. And again, because we've typed this, I hit OK. And there's my hyperlink. When I'm in a Word document, I place my mouse pointer over it, and you get a little screen tip, and it says, hold down the control key. When I do that, you see the hyperlink finger, and I click, and it would take me to the Lowe's Building Supply web page. So we're at the web page. I'm going to go ahead and click off of it. Go back to my Word document, and you can see once you followed a hyperlink, the hyperlink changes colors to show you that you have indeed followed it. Select Walmart one more time. Link www.walmart.com, and again another hyperlink. If I needed to edit this, let's say I spelled Walmart wrong, it's not working. The easiest way to edit a hyperlink is to right click from the shortcut menu, edit hyperlink, and I could make whatever corrections I wanted. So again, if I spelled it wrong or whatever the case is, I can edit it. We can also add screen tips. So in the top right corner here, you see screen tips. I'm going to just put a screen tip that says 10% off today. I hit OK. I hit OK. I put my mouse there. You see the 10% off today. And again, 
hold down the control key and click to follow that hyperlink. I'm going to save this document and close it. Go File, Save, and then File, Close. I'm now on our main document, and on this main document, I want to link to those other three documents. So the one we were just using, uh, the Humane Society News, I want to link to that. So I have some text here. Click here to see more information about the Humane Society. So just like we did with the web page links or hyperlinks, we go to the Insert tab. We go to Links insert link, this time existing file or web page, and so you can see I'm already in my Humane Society project folder. If I wasn't, I would click here and I would navigate to it. So if it showed the desktop, I would go back to the desktop, find my project, and here are my pages. So I want to link to that Humane Society news, so I select it, and I hit OK. The next one I want to link to is for dog adoption, so same thing. I'm going to use the text because it gives a neater a look. And again, there's my dogs for adoption. I hit OK. Here's my cats. Hitting OK. So let's see if these work. So click here to see more information. So I'm going to again hold down the control and click. And it opens up that page. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of this document. Click here to return to the main page. So I'm going to select the word here. Go to insert. Go to my link. And when I click the here word, I want it to go back to that main document and hitting OK. So click here, back to the main, click here, back to our History of the Humane Society. Again, scrolling to the bottom, click here, back to my main. So one more time. Let's uh, open up the dog one. So control click. There's my dog. Going to scroll down. Click here. I already have a hyperlink. So again, I'm going to right click. Edit the hyperlink. It is going back to the main, but just in case. And hitting OK. You get the idea, so I don't need to follow through with the cat one right now. The next thing I want to share is when we're creating a web page, this does not have to be a web page. It's very workable the way it is. But I also wanted to share with you on how to set up a, a small web page. And so we have what's called Web Page Preview. And so I can go to the View tab and Web Layout View. So in Web Layout View, you can see it's elongated. It, it does not have any uh, left or right margins. And no matter how large the page is, you would not see a page break. So Print Layout View. We can always go back. But if we're working on a web page, sometimes it's nice to be in that Web Layout View. OK. Since I have some of this already done for the, us, um, you're going to notice that we have horizontal lines breaking things apart. And on web page, that's nice. It just helps the eyes focus. And so you notice I do not have a horizontal line here. If I'd want one, I place my insertion point where I would like it. I go to the Home tab. On the Home tab, I'm in the Paragraph group. I'm dropping down on my Borders command. You're going to see Horizontal Line. I click on it, and it adds a horizontal line. Once the line is there, I can click on it once to select it, and then double click it, and it's going to open up the format horizontal line. 
And so the width of the line is 100%. If I wanted to do it in inches, 100% is 6.5. But if I wanted a smaller one, let me just do a 4 inch. And I hit OK. You can see that you can size those. I'm going to go ahead and click Undo and bring it back. Another thing when we're creating a web page is maybe we don't want all our pages to be just um, white with black text. So let me show you how to do a background fill effect. We go up to the Design tab. We go all the way over to the Page Background group. You're going to see Page Color. Just mousing over, you could just do a solid color. I'm going to go to Fill Effects. The first type of fill effect is a gradient. I could choose a two-color gradient fill effect, so I have to pick two different colors. I'm going to pick just shades of blue here. And then we see different variants. Right now we have horizontal. If I click on the vertical, you can see that the gradient is going up and down vertically, diagonal, etc. I'm going to go ahead and just pick a diagonal variant and hit OK. That can add a little pizzazz to a, to a web page. Next, saving as a web page. We go to the File tab. We choose Save As. We browse to where we want to save it. And you want to save everything back in the one folder. So all the pages that you have, you'd want to save them all in the same place. So I'm in my Humane Society project that I have on my desktop. I'm not going to change the name. It's still the main document. I'm going to drop down. Instead of a Word document, I'm going to choose Web Page. And I'm going to hit Save. Now the Microsoft Compatibility Checker pops up. And so everything that we can do, all the formatting that we can do in Microsoft Word, doesn't mean that it's going to display correctly as a web page. And so that's what this is doing. So what this is telling me, I have a decorative border. So not real fancy, but it's three-line border there, right across the top, Humane Society PA. I'm going to say Continue, and it's going to turn it into a single border. So the web page will not have all of the things, but it shares that. And if we don't like that, we can make that change. So we've just saved this as a web page. So I just went into the File Explorer. I'm in the Project folder. And I've taken the time to change the other three pages to HTML documents as well. So again, we did the main document together. We went File, Save As. We told it where we wanted it to live. And we changed the file type to a web page. And so when you do that, you can see that it has the little Chrome symbol and has .htm versus the main document, the Word document, has the .docx. So again, I've gone and done that for the other three files. The other interesting thing to note is, so it created four separate folders. So when we did the main document, it contains all the elements of that page for the HTML page. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to just double click and open up the main HTML page. Click here. Because we're not in Microsoft Word, we do not need to hold down the control to click. I just simply click. It opens up this next page. I want to return, so I hit click here. Here's our dog page. Clicking here to return go back to the Main Society page, so I'm scrolling down. If I wanted to play the video, I could click on it. I want to go to Walmart, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I would be immediately taken to that web page. Tips for a successful week. Do not procrastinate. Log on every day. Complete all the reading assignments. Watch the videos. They'll help you this week. Submit this week's assignment by Sunday. There is no discussion board this week. And please contact me and let me help you cross that finish line. Happy week for everyone. Take care.